Oh my God, Chuck Grassley just opened investigation that'll put Hillary in prison. Senator Chuck Grassley is chairman of the Judiciary Committee and has been investigating the Uranium One scandal for months. Grassley is expect, uh, expected to ask Attorney General Jeff Sessions about the Russian Uranium One scandal in Wednesday's hearing. This is huge news. It was reported earlier that the FBI uncovered Russian bribery of the Clintons in 2009 by the Department of Justice. Watch the groundbreaking video below via Hannity from Circa News. Senator Grassley will question the Attorney General about the Uranium One scandal. John Solomon, I can confirm tonight. I am reporting this out tonight. Senator Grassley, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, began an investigation last week specifically asking all the CFI U.S. members, did you know there was a criminal investigation? This is going to become one of the most important investigations that is going to evolve this fall. Share this everywhere because the media seems to be in on it and is covering it up. We're talking about bribery. We're talking about blackmail. We're talking about what else that was going on that the Obama Justice Department knew and still gave Putin, Moscow, Russia 20% of our uranium and the money goes to the Clinton Foundation. Let's talk about it. Oh, well, back in 2009, the FBI was actually approached by a businessman, by an American businessman, who said, look, I have information on the Russians, and I'm going to give this to you. And they said, would you work with us? They, they came to an agreement, he went inside. For 15 months, Sean, for 15 months, the FBI was investigating the Russian nuclear industry and the agencies. They knew that there were kickbacks. They knew that there were bribes. And they knew how dangerous this was to national security. And 15 months had passed in the investigation. And then CFIUS, 13 members of the governing board, approved the Uranium One deal to the Russians. I mean, this was something that I contacted FBI officials tonight, FBI sources that were there during that time, and they said the FBI would have had all of this information. It would have been their duty on the board, on the CFIUS board, to report that information. And so now what I'm thinking is, if they did report that information, it's got to be out there. We've got to be able to FOIA it. We've got to be able to see these documents and know what was going on and why the United States government decided to approve a deal that would give 20% of U.S. uranium assets to Vladimir Putin. Let, There's let, the John, connection me, with Russia. Let me go to you, John, and your report to Hill. So the FBI basically has evidence in the form of documents, emails, financial records, eyewitnesses proving, proving the Russians used bribery, kickbacks, extortion, and money laundering to secure the Uranium One deal and about $145 million kickback to the Clinton Foundation, and they knew it in 2009? They knew it before they even approved the deal? Yeah, you, you said in your opening monologue that the Democrats are concerned that Russian tam Russia's tampered with our election results in 2016. Well, six years before that, they tampered with our, net, our nuclear security. The case proved that the nuclear Russia, Russia's nuclear industry had bribed their way and compromised the American trucking company that moved all of Russia's uranium in the United States. That's a national security threat. And for two years, the Obama administration, Hillary Clinton, and everybody who's been quoted has said the Obama administration had no knowledge of a national security threat, and that's why they didn't have any problem approving the uh, Uranium One deal. Well, guess what? Tonight, we have a real national security threat that was proven in real time in 2009. And it's going to be interesting to see what Congress does tomorrow morning. Chuck Grassley has a hearing with Jeff Sessions uh, on the seat, and I think you might see some uh, interesting questions. Right. Hey, and Sarah, so and this is stunning that the Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, hid the information. He knew about the bribery, the kickbacks, the extortion, the money, and he also knew as well as Hillary and had to sign off along with Hillary Clinton on the deal, even though that we know that they're trying to influence every aspect of our security and get control over America's uranium, they still allowed the deal to go through? 
Well, and these are many of the same players, right? You had Rod Rosenstein. Rod Rosenstein then was head of this investigation when he was in Maryland looking at the trucking company. And remember this, you have a trucking company that's moving American uranium that is involved in bribery, kickbacks, and all kinds of issues, and they're moving a national security asset, uranium. And you have Andrew McKay, who's the deputy director of the FBI now, who was also charged with that investigation. So there's a lot of questions here. Is Mueller involved in this? Yes, and Mueller, who was in charge then. How does he investigate himself? So we got Mueller having to investigate his boss now, Rob Rosenstein, who also, and Andrew McCabe of the FBI, and probably James Comey. They all knew about this. That's exactly what we're looking at. These are people who actually knew about this. Now, it's up to Congress to ask those questions, to find out why did you decide to allow the CFIUS deal to go through with Uranium One? Why did you vote yes on this? What was the And they knew the Russians were trying to influence all of our uranium in this country. All right, here's Absolutely. the question. I have a final exit question, and we'll have more on this tonight. Did the DOJ, did, did they deliberately jeopardize America's national security knowing all of this was going on? In other words, the, the kickbacks, bribery, extortion, money laundering, allowing this deal to go through without presenting the evidence, and how did the Hillary sign off on it and get all this money to the foundation? John, did they risk national security? I think there are some things we don't know yet. It is possible the Justice Department told the CFIUS members, and they still voted uh, to approve this deal, and it's possible... Wait, it was you, you mean they told them about bribery, extortion, it's kickbacks, possible. and money laundering, and they still would allow the deal to go through by the Russians in our own country? We don't know the answer to that yet. That's the question, and I can confirm tonight. I'm uh, reporting this out tonight. Senator Grassi, chairman of the Judiciary Committee, began an investigation last week specifically asking all the CFIUS members did you know there was a criminal investigation? This is going to become one of the most important investigations that are going to evolve this fall. Sarah, I'll give you the last word. What's coming up? Yeah. How far is this story going to go? Can you give us a hint where we're headed? I think the story is going to go far. I know as well that uh, Senator Grassley had started this investigation last week and that he had asked very detailed questions to the current CFIUS board members. And those board members will now seek the information that he's asking for because they're going to be looking at, this is a whole new board that's a, going to that's going to be uh, answering these questions. So it's going to be up to them to tell the truth and to deliver the answers to the American people. Okay. And it's going to be up to us to keep pushing this so that answers are delivered because I do believe now national security was at risk. I mean, according to every source oh, I've spoken to. They, they knew about it. This is what it proved. There really was a Russia conspiracy, but it's not what the media reported. Um, great work, both of you. It's amazing the work you guys do and the rest of the media is ignorant. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure uh, C CBS is not reporting on that or MSNBC. I'm more than sure other than Fox. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.